So let's talk about PCs. Uh, PCs in general, man. PCs are the God-given gift of gaming. Let's be real. If you're a console player, huh? I'm not really feeling you right now, I guess. I'm just kidding. I, I was a console player all my life for a long time. I switched to PC, and it's like the game is just totally different. Speed from the, the quickness, the hertz, the graphics, etc. It goes on and on. The list can keep going. Now today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about PCs. We're going to talk about PCs because I'm having a lot of subscribers on my channel, you know, messaging me on Instagram saying, you know, Nate, um, I'm thinking about getting a PC. I don't know what kind of PC to get. I'm, I'm a console player. I've been a console player all my life. And basically, I want to get a PC, but I don't know which PC I should get. There's so many PCs, but they're so expensive. I kind of want a PC in, you know, under $1,000. What kind of PC should I get? We're going to search on the internet for a PC. We're going to find a PC for you. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to break down what PC you probably should want. And depending on what, what you want, whether it's, you know, if you want a PC for streaming or gaming, or if you want it for both, I'm going to break it down for you. It's going to be pretty simple, pretty easy. Let's get right into, of course, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new, of course, welcome to the channel. My name is Nate Pushweights. Comment below if you do have a PC build or you're thinking about getting one, which one would you prefer? Comment below. And let's get right into it, of course. Here we go. Okay, so right off the bat, what you're going to do is, um, depending on how you want to get a PC, I know a lot of people, when they first start off looking for a PC, when they're new to the scene, they never bought a PC before, and they know nothing about PCs, this is what you want to do, okay? You want to kind of think about if you want a high-end PC or a lower budget end PC, if that makes any sense, okay? When I first started, I had no idea, of course. You know, I was looking for a PC uh, through the internet. I actually, I, actually, I actually found a PC on a selling app. I didn't buy it off Amazon. I didn't buy it on iBuyPowerPC. I didn't buy it on, you know, Corsair site or NZXT site. I didn't go online to purchase my PC, so to say. I went through an app found that somebody was selling a PC for a reasonable price for me. Um, I didn't know if it was good or not, technically. I just saw that it looked cool, and I purchased it. And it happened to be a pretty good PC for me. Again, I did, had no idea, you know, on, you know, what PC I actually wanted to get. I just, I just knew that I needed a good PC, at least. So I bought the PC. The PC came with a i7-4770K. At this time, you know, that PC, that CPU... It's good, but it's not great. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it was good back in its day. Let's say that. Okay? And it still is good, you know, depending on what you want to do. For me, I was trying to actually play a lot of video games. You know, I was trying to do everything, and it, it, it worked for me. You know, I got high FPS. Not really high FPS, but I got high FPS in the sense of, you know, I could play. You know, the games look good. I was running on 180 hertz, you know, so that's even better, you know what I mean? If I could be able to use my full specs on my monitor. We'll make, we'll make a separate video talking about that. Now, when it comes to my other parts of my PC, my motherboard, pretty good. Not great, like I said again. Um, it's not up there with the i9 processors or the AMD, you know, AMD thread rippers and all that the good the great great cpus that i have currently today when i upgraded but when i first got this pc like i said again it came with an i7 4770k came with a standard motherboard um it was a g1 sniper aurora's gigabit motherboard not the greatest but it was good okay it was good especially at its price to do the things that i wanted to do which was even better it also came with a water-cooled cpu um, with it, which was cool. Came with a GTX 1070 NVIDIA graphics card, which was even better. Setup was completely already installed. He just brought it over to my house, you know, and that was it. It was very heavy, I must say. This PC was very heavy. Holding this PC with all of its parts, all the way up to my staircase, into my gaming room, was kind of hard, I must say. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you guys what people usually do when they go on to find a new PC for them. The new people, they usually go on Amazon, they'll search gaming PC on the internet, and, you know, they'll look for something. They'll look for, you know, a laptop usually pops up, but we're going to try and find a desktop right now. This is what people usually do. 
They go on, they see Cyber Power PC, blah, 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 i5, 9400F, uh, 1660. Now, this is, if I were to tell you right now, if you should buy this PC, just looking off this, look, just looking at this first PC right here, you should not buy this PC. Number one, I hate pre-built PCs. Just because you're getting rigged, okay? You're honestly getting rigged. Sometimes you're not, but when you get those, sometimes you're not getting rigged, you are still getting rigged because they're jacking up the price on all of these things with the PC parts inside pre-installed. If that makes any sense, if you think about this, okay? So this is why I don't like pre-installed PCs, okay? But let's find something. Let's see if we can find something reasonable for you guys. Here we go. 400F i5, 1660 GTX, NVIDIA. Now this isn't the build you want because, I mean, if, I, if you want to stream, you're going to be okay with the 1660. You're going to be able to stream and you're going to be able to play at the same time. Now, this i5-9400F, technically it is not a good CPU, okay? It can't overclock. If you guys can see, it says F. If any CPU, Intel-wise, says i5-9400F, it means it's not overclockable. The Ks are overclockable. So for instance, the i9-9900K, they're overclockable. The 8700K is overclockable, meaning you can reach speeds up to five gigahertz, you know, depending on how many gigahertz they let you reach up to, you can reach up to those gigahertz. This CPU only reaches up to 2.9 gigahertz. It's not terrible, but it's not what you want in 2020. Let's be real. And the 1660 GTX NVIDIA card, six gigabytes of RAM, or uh, six gigabytes of VRAM, um, eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, that is horrible, okay? You're not gonna be able to play Call of Duty. Um, you'll be able to play Fortnite. I mean, wh what can't run Fortnite? Let's be real. You'll be able to play Fortnite. You can't play Battlefield. You know, eight gigabytes of RAM. You're gonna struggle. You're gonna you're, you're gonna be lagging like crazy. You need more. You need more gigabytes of RAM. Uh, that's very important. I'll probably come out with a video talking about that too. Now the 240 gigabytes SSD. That's pretty good size SSD. I prefer one terabyte of SSD, but you know. And then you got a hard drive as well. So I would not buy this PC. Okay. When you look at this PC, you're gonna be like, oh. I mean, if, if you're new, you're not gonna know. You're gonna be like, uh, $750. Like I said, I got a better PC on a selling app for cheaper than this. And it had so much better stuff. It had it had an SSD, a terabyte of SSD. It had five uh five hard drives in it. All one terabytes. Like I got so much memory, it's insane. Would you get this PC? No, don't get it. Next on the list, the i7 9700K, 3.6 gigahertz. And it has a 2070 Super, it has an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super in it. This might be a go-to. The only thing is, the, the only problem with this build, okay? This is a very good build. The only problem with it is the price. The price is very high. $1,400 for this build. It is a good build. 9700K is amazing. It's a great CPU. Now, I'm not really gonna talk about AMD right now, okay? We're gonna go strictly Intel, um, just because it's right here for us. Um, Ryzen is a very good CPU as well. Um, I personally don't own a Ryzen, so I can't really give too much information on it, unless I do a little bit more research. I'm not trying to trick you guys. But this build is good, okay? This is i7, 9700K. Remember I said K, you can overclock. This is overclock 3.6, it probably can go up to like, 4.8 or 5 gigahertz. I don't know. And then the RTX 2070 Super. This card is great. Okay, you're gonna be able to stream and game at the same time. You're gonna get those high FPS. It's gonna be insane. Go to. And then along with this build, it comes with the PCIe NVMe SSD, one terabyte. You're gonna be blazing speed. You're gonna be blazing speeds. Okay, you have nothing to worry about. This is definitely a build you would wanna get. Um, now, when I say this, you want to get this build. You don't need to get this build on Amazon.com. You can get this build anywhere. Just find the parts. If that makes any sense to any new PC players that, or any new 
any console players that want to be PC players and buy a PC for the first time, buy this build right here. So look up Intel Core i7 9700K. Okay, so let's click on this. This goes for 1400 on Amazon. Um, I or a Cyber Power PC created this build for you guys, um, but you can find these parts for cheaper. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna click on that. You're gonna click on Intel Core i7 9700K. You're gonna search it on Google, right? Let's search it on Google, okay? This part at Best Buy, Best Buy is not the best place to buy PCs, I'm telling you right now. This part you can find on Best Buy for $400. Let's shop a little bit deeper. deeper. Let's see if we can find this part for cheaper. Okay, we got B&H. Let's, let's actually scale it down. Let's go up to... Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can find some for 250 bucks. No, we can't find any for 250 bucks. It's, it's not a chance. You're not going to find it. Now let's try it for four, 450 and lower. Okay, so here's one for $400. Like I said, again, this might be Best Buy. Go down. We'll go down a little bit more, see if we find one. So it looks like it's like $350, $400 for the i7-9700K, which isn't bad. If you look at it, there's one for Ryzen, Ryzen 7 going for 300 That's a good price. Remember, i7-9700K. So you could find one for about 350 okay? So add that math, 350 for just the CPU alone. Now let's say if you wanna get this NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Let's see how much that is going for. So 350, so far we're at 350. Now let's find this one. This one's going, like I said again, you can use any resource to find these cards. Selling apps, online, Google, whatever, okay? Let's see. So this card's going for about it looks like 400, okay? That's a two card, okay. So a two card is going for about 400. It looks like the cheapest one is, okay. So about $400. Me, I possibly could find one for like 350. Let's be real. That's just my skills. But that's, that, that's another video. I'm gonna teach you guys how to really find these. But so far we are at about $750 total from the CPU and the GPU, just buying those two alone from this build, right? 750 bucks. This this goes, mind you, this goes for $1,400, right? We're at 750, just buying those two parts. Now, the next part, it would be the one terabyte PCIe NVMe SSD. Let's see if we can find one for a good price. Let's go shop. Here we go. Okay, so there's one for, uh, there's a really good one for $200 at Best Buy. There's a really good one also for $100. There's one for $100. So the cheapest one you can get right now is $100. You can also get this one right here for 70 bucks. You can buy a one terabyte SSD for 70 bucks if you wanted to. It might not be the fastest speed, but let's go with 100. Let's go with $100 spending on the SSD. Okay, so we're at 750. Now we're at 850, right? $850 total right now. You could literally stop right there. Try to find a let's say, you know, we wanted to stop. That's that's my limit. I want to get those three parts and now all I want to get is a power supply so I can run my PC. Plus you got to get a motherboard too. So think about that, okay? I don't know what motherboard is in this machine specifically. Let's see if we can look. Is there a specific motherboard? Let me see. Okay, so there's no specific motherboard right now that I can tell that's in this machine. And that is the number one problem. Always remember if there's, you know, if you can't see the motherboard here, they're not showing you what motherboard they're gonna give you in this build. That's why I keep saying pre-builds are always terrible. You never wanna buy a pre-built PC because they're giving you what they will give you. You don't know what kind of SSD they're gonna give you. You don't know what kind of hard drive they're gonna give you. You don't know what kind of, well, you do technically know what kind of G, or, uh, you do technically know what kind of GPU they're gonna give you and also CPU they're gonna give you because it says it right here. 
but you don't know what kind of storage devices they're going to give you, motherboards, you know, water coolings, etc. You don't know any of that, okay? So it's kind of like, oh, uh, you know, should I actually buy a pre-built PC? Yeah, you just got to be careful. It's not bad. You just got to be very careful and very smart. So let's look at motherboards, okay? I would say, let's look at my motherboard. So this is the motherboard that I have. I have a Gigabyte Aurorus Master, okay? Let me see if I can search it up. Aurorus Master. I have a Z390 board, okay? This will work for this build. So this one goes for about 280. I got mine for $200, okay? I bought it used. Actually, look, there's one for $171 on Amazon Warehouse. Great price. Oh my god. 170 bucks for a Gigabyte Aurora's Master. This is amazing. Get it? You see the three card slot? You're going to be able to put three GPUs depending on how the size is, two NVMEs, Oh, um, like, it's amazing, okay? You're going to be able to overclock. You're going to be able to do all this freaky stuff with this build, with this motherboard. I would definitely get that. So where are we at? We, what did I say? 850? I said we're at 850. So just add 100, 1200, whatever, 1100. Let's say 1100. You know, taxes and, and all that good stuff. 1100. Let's say 1100, okay? Now this build, like I said again, the original build was 1400? Yeah, 1400. So you're, you're, go you're getting up there. But remember, you don't need to take everything that they want to give you. You don't need everything they want to give you. So let's go to all we need. Let, let's say we want to check out. We got everything. We have an we have a SSD. We also have a, a the GPU that we got from this build and the CPU that we got the, from this build. And we also got the motherboard that we want. Okay, all for just about eleven hundred dollars. You could possibly find it cheaper, but just about eleven hundred dollars. Now what I want to do, I want to kind of check out. Let's get the last thing that we need. We need a we need a power supply. And I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about, you know, the keyboards and mouses because if you want that, you just got to find it. They're going to give you a keyboard and mouse. It's not going to be great. It's not going to be good. Okay? So, what do you want? You got to search around for you. Kind of budget yourself off of that, I guess. But this is definitely what you want to do here. So once you're done, you know, look for your power supply. Uh, let's just search power supply, right? Power supply. Here's a 450 watt power supply. Bronze. You definitely don't want this. This is not enough power for you. Like I said, again, you're going to have to do as much research as possible to find the greatest power, su power supply for you. A 650 watt, a lot of watt, but it's a bronze again. You don't want a bronze. You kind of want like a gold. You want a gold for this one just because it's going to give you enough power, okay? Don't go under 500 watts. I would, me, I would say 1,000 watts, but that's overkill, but, you know, that's just me. It's always good to upgrade, you know? You want to you wanna think about upgrading first. So I would go with an 850-watt power supply. So let's look at 850-watt power supply. Let's try to find one. This right here is perfect. This is an 850 watt power supply. Um, I got one for 100 bucks. This is what I use in my streaming PC. Um, it, nothing crazy in it. I got this for 100 bucks, like I said again. This goes for, you could get this at a retail store. I'm telling you right now, you get this for a re, at a resell, retail store for 150 if you wanted to. But you don't even go, the, you don't even need to go this high. I say, you can go 650, you can go 750. Uh, I wouldn't go 500 just because, you know, if you wanted to upgrade in the future, you're not really going to be able to use that power supply. Um, you're kind of going overkill, you know, with the CPU and the GPU for the power supply. But this is perfect. 850 is perfect. Make sure it's gold. Don't go with bronze. Just trust me. Don't go with bronze. Um, so yeah, 850. Let's just, let's tag on another $100 or 150 So you're running about... 1250 bucks okay so you're saving close to 200 bucks after taxes okay so think about that would you want to save that much money in a a rig would you want to save that much money in a rig like i said you can find these parts cheaper you just got to do the research find them order them 
get them as cheap as possible as you want. You know, there's there's always people selling PCs on the internet. Get it. Find the parts. If it's too high, if people are if people are trying to sell pre-built PCs, try to see if you could just get the part. Try to see if you could just get the CPU, etc. You know, you'll pay off better, you'll save a lot more money. Pre-built PCs are always going to be expensive. This was just a video to help you guys figure out how to kind of actually look for PCs and develop a mindset in the sense of you're going to find the right PC for you, okay? So do research, find your PC, find the parts, find them for cheap, not cheap, but find them for a good price for you that you can afford and then go that direction. Yes, it will take longer for you. Obviously, buying a pre-built PC is easier because it's right there for you. It's already built. You just plug it in and there you go. But don't all you you kind of don't want to take that route. That's too easy. You want to be able to put your PC together, you know, have fun with it, figure it out, and you'll learn more and you'll be able to buy better parts and you'll figure things out and you'll know PCs better. Trust me, it's so fun. It takes some time. You have to be very careful with PCs too, especially the CPU and the motherboard. Um, but it's fun. You'll get you'll 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 love it. You'll love it. So when you f buy your first PC, let me know in the comment section, of course. Um, let me know if this helped you at all. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section, of course. Obviously, subscribe to the YouTube channel. My name is Nate Push Weights. Hit that like button. I'll be checking out more videos to come on PCs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.